all right guys so welcome back to another video so today i'm going to show you how you can spot the differences between a fake mitchell ns jersey and a, a legit one football edition and uh, i got two raider jerseys here i'm a big raider fan and uh this one right here this is the uh i guess you could say knockoff mitchell ns version and this is the legit replica now, the only difference is, is I don't have an authentic version to compare the two. So, cause I can't afford it. I don't have $300 to waste, but I, um, I'm gonna try to do it with this one, but I'm gonna be real. Um, this is the replica. So this is like a swingman edition for football jerseys, but I'm gonna tell you right now, this right here is pretty much the same thing with an authentic the only difference is the patches are a little bit much more thicker and heavier and the jersey is just heavier so but honestly i prefer the replicas but this right here this is a howie long joint and as you can see there is a ton of differences now first things first is the jock tag and just it looks like an alien so and the nfo logo right here is all slanted and just it, it it just looks totally off the throwbacks doesn't even look properly in place i mean i don't know if it's me but look right here where it says throw it's all like a little bit closer and this right here is just all bunched out and right here the 1987 usually they say los angeles raiders it just doesn't have the year and look at the extra stitching right there between the the numbers like it's just connecting so yeah it is all bad and the patch right here, it just, it's not even like a legit patch. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like just a hardened piece of paper. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know how to explain it. But yeah, and, and the material too, it's just, I'm not going to lie. The material is actually kind of nice. It, they actually did a good job on this. It's nice and roomy and it gives you air in your body. But this patchwork is bad. And uh, obviously the jock tag is bad. And right here too, the number, same thing. It's just cheap as hell. It's just cheap material. That's all I could say. And right here, this does not exist on the legit ones. This Mitchell and Ness tag is just way off. It's not even like properly in place. It's slanted again. So the sewing is just bad. As you can see right here on the, the legit replica, this is properly in place. I mean, just look at it. You could just tell. The tagging is like that. It's just, it's perfect. Again, look at that and compare it to that. I mean, the Mitchell and this, it, it even looks off. Like the the cursive is just horrible. And I don't know, it, it just looks better. So, and right here on the 81, the patches are just too clean. Like this right here, it's legit patching. So... And, you know, the material is nice, too. Flip it on the back. Again, this is a Tim Brown, in case you haven't realized or know. I mean, just look at it. The nameplate, beautiful. I've been collecting jerseys for about a good five or six years, so I don't really, I don't mess with fakes at all. So, and, you know, again, collecting for, since I've been collecting for that long, it's it's kind of easy now for me to spot fake stuff so but and the reason and this is not my jersey this is my dad's so he didn't give a damn about what jersey he had if it was real or fake he doesn't care so he just got this for cheap but look at the texture right here it just it just doesn't look right the long it just looks it doesn't look right the nameplate is it's like this side's longer than this side Again, the patches is just cheap. I mean, look, slants right here. It's pretty whack. So, I mean, that compared to this, this is obvious. I mean, just look at it, too. Look at the right jersey. Look at the fake. It just looks like crap. And you look at this one, on point. So, and uh, let me see. I think there's a tag inside here. Yeah, here we go. There's like a tag in here. And the inside of this one doesn't have that shit at all. 
And also too, look at the inside, the patching, the stitching, all this was all around the numbers. I guess my dad washed it already and it all just came out. But, and as you can see on the legit Michelin S, there is none of that at all, just legit stitching. So that's another way to spot fake jerseys is just look inside. If you can't really tell, just look inside. And if it has all this within the numbers, then it's fake. It's a knockoff. So, and uh, you guys gotta be careful out there because people these days know how to make fakes. It's, it's seems like it's that simple because man, they are everywhere. And if you want the legit, and if you want a fake, hey, I'm not hating. You can go ahead and rock a fake. I don't give a damn. You want to pay cheap. You want to pay for a fake cheap as hell, go ahead. But if you really want the legit one, you want everything legit like me, you're going to have to spend a little bit more money. It's the way it goes. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, again, me personally, you can just totally tell what the difference is. But I hope this video helps out a little bit. I'm going to do an NBA version. And uh, yeah. Peace out.